Okay, Pisces, that actually flipped. Oh, money. This is very good. Big opportunity that's going to be coming your way. Anyway, welcome to your weekly forecast, Pisces. <laughs> and this is for April 7th until 13th. Let's take a look what's in store for you this week. Well, there is a water sign in your past that will try to, you know, that will try to interfere in your life. And even if you will try to keep your walls up or raise your walls up or create some boundaries for this person out across, you will have a hard time saying no. Now, let's uh, take a look first at the good news. There is some good news that you'll be receiving this week and this will also be your cue to really move away or move on from wherever you are right now. And you're also planning to cut off some unnecessary people, you know, in your life and you just want to celebrate all together, okay, for the victory and for the, you know, for the blessings, luck, prosperity and abundance that you will be enjoying soon. Now, there is somebody who's very young, more likely around 19, 21, 22, something like that, that is around your work or related to your work, that you will have an eye for or that you will be keeping an eye for. Yeah, just be very careful if you're too old for this person because I feel like, you know, for men, be careful of your opposite uh, sex because I feel like this is where you're going to be getting your karma, okay? If you don't have any clear and clean intention, just stay away from it. Now, changes, more positive changes will also be coming your way rapidly, you know, getting inside your life. And I feel like there's, you know, there will be some changes that will also be coming your, that will be coming your way this week. Now, one is that there is a water sign that will still try and peek through your, your door, despite of you. Um, closing your doors and windows to this person they will still try and you know create and find a way on how to get through it and I feel like they will try and mangle your defense by seducing you but if you will try and um, you know if you will try and um, let this person in again they will just infect you with much of their toxicity now, there is another person that will be coming your way, which is a fire sign, and you have a past life connection with this one, and you are looking forward for a brand new beginning, which you, you know, this is where you, you really feel like well, this is somebody that is much more worth it. This is somebody that is, you can really see yourself getting married, preparing for your lives, and preparing for your future, and that you can really, like, say that this is your future okay your future wife your future husband something like that and you are also ready to give up your other sexual vices that if you are too promiscuous or that you keep on having sex here and there you're also ready to give up that kind of lifestyle just to be with this person that you feel like is your real soulmate if you're a guy this is uh, this woman is she looks like a, a, a latina that is black curly hair long long eyelashes and she's mm, 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 she's sexy and if you're a woman then this is somebody someone who's very tall um well the nose uh, they have big nostrils but um thick lips and uh, they have this sexy mustache and they're you know like very well trimmed and their eyebrows are very well manicured, you know, and they play balls or they're in there. They are a former athlete or they're an athlete, something like that. Anyway, now there is um, another work or business opportunity that will be coming your way. And you will also be gathering with this air sign. Yet you need to be very careful not to mix this air sign with pleasure or not to mix this business meeting with pleasure because they hate it. 
mixing business with pleasure or doing some hanky pankies while you're doing some serious legworks. So if you'll be talking to this person, just do it a straight business meeting, okay? Like um don't flirt right in the middle of it. And they hate unprofessional people. And you will also be traveling, you know? But the thing here is you have to cancel or you have to rebook or you have to reschedule because there are some unexpected things that's going to be coming your way. And if you're also pl uh, trying to play the lottery or there are some tickets that you're also buying, this week, this is a very good straight three cards. You know, these are all money good opportunities unexpected money coming in inheritance insurance claims government grants or whatever it is you know as long as it's money and you will finally be getting it plus a business opportunity for you to see somebody across the country okay or across the city there will be some there will be some travel involved and you will also be meeting somebody who's a younger earth sign that has a lot of potential of long-term relationship now you will be very disappointed with this water sign that by the end of the week they will be launching into some form of a legal act towards you and they will be fabricating some stories or they will be fabricating some charges you know just to get your attention and you have bruised their their ego by rejecting them so be prepared for this as well because they're not just going to let you go and they're not just going to let you slip by and uh, you know that right after you having this so-and-so connection with them then all of a sudden you will just forget about them and you will just shrug them off okay so be very careful about that and prepare for that anyway that's it for you for this week pisces and if you want to talk to me live on the phone live in the calls just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net blessings to you